Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Kayla Sullivan. Thanks for joining us. Well, students, staff, and faculty at St. Joseph's College in Rensselaer are finally getting the chance to air their grievances tonight. They're left with many questions following the announcement of the school's impending closure. News 18's Brad Oppenheim is live in Rensselaer to tell us what's happening right now. Brad? Jeff and Kayla, a forum for staff and faculty actually began a couple hours ago, and another forum is going to be held for students tonight. Now, I actually had the chance to catch up with some of those students that are planning on attending, and they're saying they're anxious. Amid mounting debt, the St. Joseph's College Board of Trustees made the decision Friday to suspend operations beginning June 1st. At two separate forums, students, faculty, and staff are getting the chance to voice their concerns. Senior Francisco Pinero plans on attending. It's a tough situation. Uh, a lot of emotions are going to, you know, get out in the surface, but hopefully people will calm down and ask the right questions so we can move on and make it an efficient meeting so everybody can be informed. Junior Christine Manica will also be there. There's been a lot of lies and deceptions and a lot of cover ups, and I just hope that they finally be honest with the campus, with the students, faculty, staff, anybody involved, and just be forthright about everything. Sophomore Joey Messer has stern words for college president Robert Pastor ahead of Monday's forum, which Pastor will be attending. It's anyone's power to beat around the bush. No one ever wants to give a straight answer, so. Then last time's meeting, he acted like a coward, so there's probably a good chance he'll act like a coward again. When asked how the school's financial problem got out of control, trustee Carol Wood said it stems from a variety of factors, including a lack of students and donations. The donors that we have are marvelous, and people are bringing in students all the time. But it's just not enough to, to keep us going. What attended St. Joe's herself and has served on the Board of Trustees since 2002. She voted against the closure and says she's heartbroken. I don't want to see this, any suspension at all. Um, I live in Rensselaer and we are going to take a big hit in the housing market as the professors have to move on to find something else to do with their lives. Manica says she's staying optimistic. You know, I chose this place for a reason because of the family aspect and because of the opportunities I would have here. So no matter what, I'm, I'm going to be a Puma for life. I, I bleed red and purple all the way. Now that student forum will begin at 9 o'clock tonight central time and it will take place in the St. Joe's Auditorium. And we have repetitively, repetitively reached out to President Pastor, but we still have yet to hear back from him. For now, reporting live in Rensselaer, Brad Oppenheim, News 18.